Thank you so much for staying with us, everyone. We'll be talking about the controversial hanging legislative uh, elections in River State and some of the reasons why the elections are not yet concluded. Uh, last week, the INEC chairman was in Lagos where he spoke to journalists about some of the reasons why the, the, the exercise is hanging and what INEC is doing right now. We've been talking with Senator Magnus Abbey in our Abuja studio, but let's quickly listen to INEC chairman on this one. We agreed on the date for election for Rivers for 30th July. But with a caveat, the resolution from that meeting says, in the event of contrary evidence, that date should be reconsidered. And you know what happened to the INEC office in Bori, in Kana? <coughs> Is it Kana or Gokana? Gokana. Gokana. Gokana, Bori in Gokana local government. You know what happened? Elections are ultimately conducted by human beings. They are not conducted by machines. They are young people, the equivalent of your own children or brothers or sisters that have gone through university and are serving that form the bulk of election day staff for INEC. And the problem often is that if you mobilize for an election and for whatever reason you have to demobilize, it takes time for you to remobilize again. But I wouldn't like to comment further on the reverse matter because as we speak, our staff are in Port Harcourt reconcile the figures from the March 19 elections so that they can fix a date for the, conclusive, the conclusion of the elections in 22 constituencies. You probably would have noticed as well that out of the 80 elections, 37, almost 50 percent, are from River State. Almost 50 percent of the nullified elections. It is not the wish of the Commission that an important state like Rivers will not have a representation in the Senate. Senator Abe, you've heard uh, the national chairman of INEC. I want your uh, perhaps uh, last thought on this matter so that I can quickly take you a few minutes uh, on other issues pertaining to politics in Nigeria and River State. Uh, are you concerned about the fact no, that no, running sure, for about sure, two sure, years really, now... Really... Oh, just a moment. Are you concerned about the fact that uh, River State does not have any federal presence at the National Assembly and the way and manner this has uh, been staying and hanging for a long time uh, over the last few months. So, first, uh, I am concerned. But before I deal with that matter, let me say clearly that it is not fair to have me sit here and then have people make all sorts of wild allegations and not give me an opportunity to respond to it. The people who are not in the studio are saying more than me that is here in the studio. So I need to be given a chance to explain what is actually going on in River State. First of all, the idea that there is some collaboration between the APC and INEC is the most far-fetched and ridiculous thing that I've ever heard in my life. I, I can sit here and count up to eight favors that INEC has done for the PDP in River State including the postponement of this election, which was done at the instance of a letter written by the PDP to INEC. We have not gone on the airways to shout the name of a chairman and say it is because uh, he was working with Yes on Wiki. That is why anything they ask for will be given. But anything that happens in INEC that becomes an issue for the PDP, there are threats. There will be crisis, people will die, this will happen, Amina Zakari has done this, and Amina Zakari has done that. Now let me tell you what Amina Zakari has done. Yes, she's in charge of elections. On the 19th of March, elections were held in River State. At the end of that election, seats were declared inconclusive because the margin of win of the party that claimed to have the highest number of votes, which was the PDP, was less than the number of people that had not voted. In other words, more people had not voted in those constituencies. The same Amina Zakari got these people to come back to Port Harcourt on the 29th, more than three weeks after the election, and more than seven seats that were inconclusive by the guidelines of INEC were declared in favor of the PDP. Now, that is the biggest favor an umpire can do for a political party. Give them seats that they did not win. I didn't hear the PDP 
calling the name of well, Amine well, Zakari. Senator when, that Abe, when you say now, that secondly, Anak is you granting favors to the PDP, it situation. looks to me, just a moment, just a moment, because we need to round up this conversation now. Uh, when you say that the INEC is granting favors to a political party, it looks to me that you, you're referring to or indicting INEC as an unprofessional body, isn't it? No, I'm just telling you that these were the things that PDP ought to have said at that time when these things were happening, but they didn't say it. They didn't say it because they were the beneficiaries of those decisions. Now, when we went to court against those uh, decisions that were made by INEC, we got to the court. The elections that were declared on the 29th was backdated to the 19th, and the court threw our case out on the basis that we filed our petitions late. Now, that was, was another favor done to INEC by the PDP. Nobody said anything about that. I didn't hear the PDP complain. Now, this decision that you're talking about, that my, my opponent in the election was just ranting about a few minutes ago, was taken in front of all of us. What was the decision? INEC simply said that in all those constituencies, we are the form EC88, just two Senator minutes, Magnus, I'll, I'll just round up. Yeah. We, we, Ma, Senator Magnus, I, I'm afraid we have to go right now. Many thanks for talking to us on the program. We'll still stay on this matter so that we get deeper into the uh, real reasons why all of this is happening. Many thanks for uh, your thoughts there, Senator Magnus Abe, APC candidate for the uh, Southeast Rivers uh, Central Constituency. Many thanks also for being such a great coming on the program. On behalf of the team here at China Salvation Headquarters in Lagos, I'm Shawakimale. Sure